Hallelujah! Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. It's Genevieve here again. And today is Thursday, the 4th of April, 2019. And um, I just wanted to get on here today uh, and just, uh, just to do a little bit of worship and praise with you. And, and in, in the crazy times that we're living in, this world is getting darker and, and more wicked and... Um, it's so easy to get discouraged, you know, but I want to encourage you, there's, there's just something beautiful about coming into the presence of God Almighty every day, making time each day, just come into the secret place, coming into the secret place and giving everything to Him and just shutting yourself out from this busy world, this world that's so focused on deception and lies and confusion, this world that is changing so drastically I want to encourage you the importance regardless of how busy your life might be if you are a believer in Jesus Christ and you're a child of God the most important thing you can ever do is spend time in God's presence if you draw nearer to Jesus he'll draw nearer to you so I want to encourage you to make time each day to just spend in his presence do you know when you come into the King's presence, His presence is so powerful. Literally, when you worship Him and praise Him and worship Him in spirit and truth, it will cause Him to turn around and say, Who touched me? Somebody touched me. Just like the story of the woman who had faith, the woman with the issue of blood. She touched Jesus that day. And Jesus said, Who touched me? And everyone said, but Lord, everyone's touching you. But the Lord knew that that woman with the issue of blood, he knew that somebody touched him. He knew that it was a touch of faith. Hallelujah. That woman caused Jesus to stop and turn around. Hallelujah. Friends, when you worship the King of glory and when you give him your best worship and praise, it will cause him to come down from his throne and to touch you. Hallelujah. He will pour out his glory and his presence upon you. There's something about praise and worship. When you praise him and you worship him in spirit and in truth, it changes the atmosphere, brothers and sisters. This is true. The atmosphere begins to change. The glory begins to fall. Healings begin to take place. So I want to encourage you. Get into a, a routine where daily you make time for Him every day. To just spend on your knees with your hands up to Him. Worshipping Him. Glorifying Him. Honouring Him. Your personal intimate relationship with Jesus is so important. Don't rely on other people. Yes, going to church on a Sunday, that's great. You have fellowship with your brothers and sisters, that's great. But what about Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday? What are you doing those days? Are you spending time with Him or are you only saving it for once a week on a Sunday? It's so important for you. It's a lifestyle. This is not religion. This is a relationship. And it's so important to come into His presence daily. Just let go of everything. Shut your door. Just you and Him. Pour out your heart to Him. Honour Him. Worship Him. Glorify Him. Exalt His holy name. And I guarantee you, you will see your situation begin to change. It doesn't matter what you're going through. It doesn't matter what trials and tribulations are being thrown at you right now doesn't matter who is accusing you and who's pointing the finger. It doesn't matter what kind of storm is coming at you right now. When you come into His presence, hallelujah, there is power in that. Your circumstance will change. I've witnessed it myself in my own life. The battle is won on the knees, brothers and sisters. There is power in prayer coming to Him. He knows everything. He knows what you need. You need to come to Him. Just you and Him. Your time with God. Fellowship is very important. The Bible says, Do not forsake gathering, forsake gathering together with other believers. 
That's so important if you're a believer. It's important to fellowship with others. But you also need to have time where it's just you and God on a regular basis. No one else. Pouring out your heart to Him. Being real with Him. Just, just drawing nearer to Him like ever before. Hallelujah. Thanking Him for the situation in which you're in. Thanking Him for the things that, that you're going through. You know, when the enemy is throwing his fiery darts and his flaming arrows at you, he's trying so hard to get you to throw the towel in. He's trying so hard to discourage you. He's trying so hard to, to make you turn away from God. But that's when you've got to say, Lord, thank you so much for the things that I'm going through. Lord, it's strengthening me, Lord. Lord, thank you, Father God, that you've already worked out the end from the beginning, Lord. And I give it all to you, Lord. I lift up my situation. Lord, I lift up my trials and my problems. And I give it to you, Lord. For I know that you are the God that works all things together for good. And I know, God, that nothing is impossible for those who love you. That's the kind of attitude that you need to have. Hallelujah. Because it puts that devil in his place and he begins to realize, oh my goodness, I can't mess with that one. Because they know how to use their God-given authority. They know how to worship and praise the King of glory. Praise the Lord. It's so important. Our King is so near. And many, many, many are speaking about, you know, um, how tired they're feeling, how weary they're feeling, how discouraged they're getting, um, how disappointed they are. You know what, when you're going through those things and those emotions, uh, we're human beings, we go through those things, you know. Um, and especially when you belong to God, when, especially when you are a child of God, the enemy will always be throwing his arrows at you. And, um, and it's so important, you're come into, coming into God's presence, hallelujah, and, um, and he will shower, he will cause the, the heavens to open, hallelujah, and He will pour out His glory on you. He will come down from His throne and visit you. So I want to encourage you, be a true worshipper. Be a true worshipper who sings to Him, dances for Him, loves Him, just like David danced and, and sung. That's how we're to act as well, you know. Praise the Lord. So without further ado, brothers and sisters, I encourage you to, um, yeah, to, to join in and... Um, and I just, we're just going to worship and praise our King. And, um, and after worship and praise, I really feel led this morning to just lift up, um, you know, just pray for, for salvation for our families and our friends and even for those who are in the world who are not yet saved, that they will come to know Jesus as Lord and Saviour. As we know, we're living in the last days and Jesus Christ could come back at any moment. So I encourage you... Um, yeah, time is so, so short. You know, I encourage you, um, get into the habit of praise and worship. Praise God. And I just, yeah, it's just your heart to Jesus. You sing to Him, speak to Him, glorify Him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Wonderful Heavenly Father, we come before you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we just give you all the glory and the honor and the praise. Hallelujah. And I pray, Father God, that you cover this message in the precious blood of Jesus. And I pray, Father God, Lord, that you will draw many people, that you will give many people in these last days, Lord. Give your children a desire, Father God, to draw nearer to you than they ever have before. Hallelujah. Give them a desire to spend time in the secret place. I lift up all my brothers and sisters all over the world to you, Lord, and I ask that you will cover them with your precious blood. And I ask, Father God, that you will place a shield of protection around them so that no weapon formed against them by the enemy shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And that every tongue which rises in judgment against them, they do have the authority to condemn those tongues in Jesus' name. Lord, we just give you all the glory, the honor, and the praise. We magnify your holy name. We worship your holy name. We exalt your holy name. Blessing and honor and power and glory belongs to you, Jesus. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are the great I am. You are the first and the last. You are the beginning and the end, the Alpha and Omega, the Holy One of Israel. You are the precious Redeemer. 
You are our Savior. You are the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Who is like you, Jesus? There is no one like you, Lord. We magnify your holy name. Thank you, Lord, for who you are. Thank you, Lord, for the things that you've done in each of our lives. Thank you, Lord, for the things that you are doing in each of our lives. And thank you, Father, for the way in which you are about to use us, Lord, and the, and the things that you are about to do, Lord. I just lift up everyone, Lord, watching this video, Lord. Whatever struggles they're going through, whatever storms are coming at them, Lord, I just pray, Father God, for your perfect peace upon them, your perfect peace that passes all understanding. Have your way in their lives, Father God. Have your way. We love you, we worship you, and we adore you. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. We just welcome your precious Holy Spirit right now. We welcome your presence in this place. Jesus, we lift up your holy name. We come to you this day, Lord, and we worship you in spirit and in truth. Blessing and honor and power and glory belongs to you. You are our majesty. You are the El Shaddai. You are the Adonai. Hallelujah. Yeshua HaMashiach. What a beautiful name. What a wonderful name. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Just say his name, precious saints. Say his name because there's power in his name. Jesus. 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 We glorify you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Oh, you are holy, Lord. Holy are you, Lord. So holy. So worthy, Jesus. So majestic, Lord. Thank you for your presence, Lord. Thank you for your presence. And I pray, Father God, that you will allow the anointing to flow through this screen right now in Jesus' name. That the presence of God will envelop everyone, Lord, that is watching this. Or your anointing will fall, I pray, right now, Lord. That you cause there to be an open heaven over each and every one, Lord, Father God, who's, who's, um, who's watching this, Lord, Lord, who's joining me in praise and worship. Oh, we praise you, Lord. We place you on the highest place. For you are the, are the most high God, Lord. You are the great high priest. Hallelujah, Jesus. Holy you. <clears throat> Deserve my praise, only you, only you, only you deserve my praise, only you, Jesus, only you, only Only you deserve my praise. 
praise. Yes, only you, Lord, no one else. Only you. Only you. Yes, Jesus, only you. Only you. You deserve my praise. Only you. Jesus, only you. Yes, Lord, you deserve our praises, Lord. You deserve all the glory and the honor and the praise. There is no one like you, Lord. There is no one like you. You are the Most High God. Apart from you, there is no other God. Lord, all other gods are the works of man's hands. But you are the Most High God. You are the worthy King of glory. We worship you, Lord. We honor your holy name, Lord. And we thank you for your presence, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you're touching people right now, Father God. Oh, we magnify you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, Father God, for walking away from your throne 2,000 years ago. Thank you that you laid down your crown in heaven. And thank you, Jesus that you chose to come down to earth to die for the sins of mankind. We do not deserve your forgiveness, Lord. We do not deserve such a wonderful sacrifice. But thank you, Lord. You chose, Father God, to lay down your life for us. Thank you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We worship you. Thank you, Father God, that you gave heaven's best. You gave us your only son, Jesus, to set us free from the spiritual death that all mankind is subject to. Thank you that the precious blood of Jesus cleanses us from all of our sins. Thank you, Lord, that you rescued us from the powers of darkness. And you translated us to the powers of light, to your glorious kingdom. Hallelujah. Thank you that you've given us the Holy Spirit that's in us as an inheritance. And thank you, Lord, that you said in your word that if that same spirit that raised Christ to life dwells in you, then you too will be raised to life. On that last day, oh Lord, what a sacrifice. Thank you so much that you, Jesus, you made a way back to God the Father. We're all lost, hopeless, broken without you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We praise you, Jesus. We honor you, Lord. And Lord, right now, Father God, I lift up every single person who's watching this video, Father God, Lord, that you will cause the anointing to flow through them right now, Lord. Anyone with sickness or disease, I command sickness and disease to leave right now in Jesus' name. Put your hand on the part where you are sick or where, where your body is hurting. The Lord's touching you right now. Lord, let the fire and the power of the Holy Ghost consume all sickness and pain and disease now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I bind the spirit of sickness. I bind the spirit of disease. I bind every pain right now that is operating in the lives of your children. I destroy the works of the enemy right now. In Jesus' name, I command every evil arrow of sickness, pain, disease, cancer, diabetes, whatever ailment 
the enemy has placed on you, be broken, be broken, be broken now. Hokurabashante, Reshi Kiliana Malama Sante, He Talamara Masikiliande. Lord, have your way, Father God. Deliver your children for your glory. Set them free. I cover them right now in the blood of Jesus. Brothers and sisters, whatever it is, lift it up to the Lord right now. Give it to Him. He's listening. He wants to heal you. He wants to deliver you. He wants to set you free. Hokuraba Sante, lung cancer. Lung cancer is being healed right now. You who are suffering with lung cancer, put your hand on your heart right now in Jesus' name. The Lord is touching you right now. That's a fire of God right now. Hokuraba Sante, Hokuraba Basikiliante, He Ramarama Kiriyaraba Sendo. The Bible says that. It's impossible to please God if you do not have faith. Have faith that the Lord is doing it right now. He's delivering you right now. He's healing you right now from cancer, diabetes. Hokuraba asanta mareondo. Nothing is impossible for the one who believes. He kiara baba shakala mareoso. Re esikiliara masakala mareondo. Oh ruma se kerianta kara baba la basiande. Heriana maraka sikiliande. Ra se kuyala mala masiko. Migraines, many of you are suffering with migraines. The Lord is touching you right now. Migraines and random headaches that are coming and going. The Lord is healing you of your migraine right now. Migraines being healed right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hukurubu sikiliyam taila maleo tokuluburiande. La sakata maraka sana maleondo. Hukurababa sikiliyande. Brothers and sisters, it doesn't matter what your ailment is, it doesn't matter what your pain is, Jesus is the healer, Jesus is the deliverer, just receive it by faith right now, in Jesus' name, lift up your request to him right now, in Jesus' name, he is doing it, there is power in his name, he is the healer, he is the great physician, Oh, wonderful Jesus, thank you Lord, thank you for your healing touch, thank you for your deliverance Lord, I pray for deliverance Father God, I pray for healing Father God, hallelujah Lord, right now we pray Father God for salvation Lord, Lord I stand in agreement with my brothers and sisters in Christ Lord, Lord we, I stand in agreement right now for every mother, every father, every brother, every sister who they have been interceding for Lord and many of their family members are calling them crazy uh, they don't believe that you're coming Lord Lord they don't understand that you are at the door so I pray Father God for the salvation hallelujah of all my brothers and sisters family members friends Anyone, Lord, that is mocking them, scoffing them because they don't believe in your, in your return, we pray right now. We stand in the gap right now and we pray for your intervention. We pray, Father God, that our families will come to know you as Lord and Saviour, Lord. Lord, right now, <clears throat> Father God, I stand in agreement with my brothers and sisters in Christ and I cancel the plan of the enemy right now in Jesus' name. I destroy the works of the enemy right now. Every spirit of deception lies, confusion, every spirit of religion, anything that is stopping our family and friends from getting saved, devil, we command you right now, your time is up. Get your hands off our family members. Get your hands off our mothers, our fathers, our brothers, our sisters, our cousins, our aunties, our uncles, our grandparents. Devil, you are a loser. You are a liar. You Very soon, your time will be up, devil. Your time will be up. We command you right now that they belong to Jesus. Lord, I pray for each and every person in this world who's not yet saved, Father God. Lord, that you will have mercy on them, Father God. Lord, that you will purposely draw them unto yourself, Lord. You're not willing that anyone should perish, that anyone should go to the lake of fire. But Lord, sadly, that's where many people will spend eternity because they do not believe, Father God. Just as they didn't believe Noah when Noah was telling them that there was about to be a flood. They were mocking your son Noah. They were cursing him, Lord. And it was only Noah and his family that got on the ark, Lord, and they all died in the flood, Lord. In the same way, Lord, history is repeating itself. Just, Lord, as just as Noah was mocked, your children are being mocked, your servants are being mocked, your prophets are being mocked. 
Hallelujah, Lord. Even by our own family members, Lord. We're being ridiculed, Lord. We're being called all the names under the sun. Hallelujah. But Lord, the day is coming when the trumpet will sound. Just like you said in your word, it will happen. And everything will change in an instant. Hallelujah. And their worst nightmare will come true. But we pray, Father God, in the short time that we have, that you will draw them nearer to you. Lord, that you will soften their hearts, Lord. Soften the hearts of our family members. Soften the hearts of our friends. Soften the hearts of our neighbours. Soften the hearts of everyone we interact with every day. Hallelujah. And I just pray for your intervention that you will move your mighty hand, Lord. Hallelujah. For you are mighty to save. You are the saviour, you are the healer, you are the deliverer, Lord. So we pray for your intervention, Lord, for your deliverance, so that many will be set free, delivered and saved before it's too late, Lord, as we're, many of us are hearing the sound of the trumpet. Hallelujah. And even last night again, as I was praying with my 11-year-old daughter before we went to bed, we have never heard the trumpet sound so loud, but my daughter Savannah jumped up off the floor and looked at me with her eyes open. We thought the rapture was about to take place because the trumpet blast was so loud. And then I began to say, Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Many of us think that we're crazy for believing in such a thing. But it's going to happen. We're not crazy. We know the truth. The spirit that lives inside of the children of God is a spirit that confirms things. He confirms the Word of God. Listen to me very carefully. I plead with you. You might be my mother, you might be my father, my brother, my sisters. You might be the family members of, of someone who's saved. We're not crazy. I plead with you to come to Jesus today. We are living in the last days. Time is up. Time is over. Jesus is coming back. And um, tomorrow is never guaranteed. So please use wisdom. Use wisdom because when the rapture takes place and mil millions of people vanish from the face of the earth, then you're going to realize that what we were saying was true. Friend, you might be happy with your life right now. You might be an atheist and you might be at peace. You might have peace and joy in your life. You have nothing to do with God. But I'll tell you now, as long as the Holy Spirit is on the earth, regardless of whether you're a believer or not, life is great. You can be an atheist and you probably still have joy and peace in your life and you feel you don't have a need for God. But the day is coming when things will change. This God that you don't believe in loves you so much. And when His Spirit is removed from the earth along with, a, with the body of Christ, you will understand what we were talking about. Because the peace will be ripped from the earth. Your worst nightmare will begin to unfold on earth. Okay, the Bible says that the Great Tribulation will be a time, there's never been a time like that before, never will there, and there never will be a time like that in the future. Listen to what the children of God are saying. History is about to repeat itself. Just as it was in the day of Noah, so it will be when I return. That's, that's what Jesus said. Jesus is not mad at you. It doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter. It does not matter who you are. It does not matter. As long as you come to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us of all of our sins. But I want to encourage you. Listen to the sound of my voice. Jesus is screaming at you. He's screaming at you. That it's time to come to him now. He's not playing. God's wrath is about to be poured out like never before. And I feel the pain of the Lord. I feel the heartache of the Lord. He said in his word that he's not willing that anyone should perish. If you don't believe it, you stand condemned already. You don't want to stand before the living God on judgment day at the great white throne, at the great white throne judgment and be told, into the lake of fire prepared for the devil and his angels. Let me tell you right now, if you're a non-believer, if you're unsaved and you die with Jesus and you die without Jesus, one day you'll stand before him at the great white throne judgment. 
And the Bible says the book of life will be opened. And if your name is not found written in the book of life, you will be cast into the lake of fire. Friend, God is a God of justice and mercy. If you don't want the blood of Jesus to cleanse you, then you can never ever enter the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is only for those who've been washed clean in the blood of the Lamb. God would have never ever had to send his son if we could make it to heaven our own way. We cannot get there our own way. There's only one way. It's his way. He said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one cometh unto the Father but by me. Jesus made a way. Jesus paid it all. It's a free gift. Why don't you take that free gift now? Come to him on your knees. Repent. Turn from your sins. And ask him, humbly ask him to come into your heart. Listen to me very carefully. He's coming back. Jesus is coming back. Even non-believers have been hearing the sound of the, the sounds of the trumpet. And it's caused some of them to turn to Jesus. There's so many warnings in the world. Friend, Jesus is coming back. We're living in the last days. The rapture of the church is about to take place. Please. Prepare your hearts for the Lord. Time is so, so, so short. He's coming back. I love you guys and I'm going to continue to pray for you. I want to encourage you. Continue to pray and intercede for your family and your friends. And, um, and tell them if they're left behind, you know, during the mark of the beast, tell them not to take the mark of the beast. Jesus Christ, the promise is true. The promise of Jesus Christ is true. He's about to rescue his children. Never ever in history has there ever been such a time where many, many, many are hearing the same words that time is over. It is finished. The time is now. God is speaking. It is a dangerous thing to fall into the hands of the living God. God is about to pour out his wrath on an unbelieving and a Christ-rejecting world. Friend, Jesus is your only hope. Jesus is the answer. He's not in the grave. He rose again. He's seated at the right-hand side of God the Father in heaven. He's coming back very, very soon. Are you ready to meet him? Repent. Turn from everything. Today is the day of salvation. Love you guys so much. And if I have time, very quickly, I just wanted to read this. Listen very carefully, especially for those who are not saved. There is something pure and majestic about snow-clad mountains, and some of the peaks of the mountains of Lebanon are no exception. But when the snow melts, it has only one way to go, and that is down to the Jordan Valley. Reaching sea level, it is still further down to the Sea of Galilee. 200 meters below sea level. From there it is further down to the Dead Sea, where the ground